India and China have not fired a bullet at each other in decades. But the situation at the border is precarious. It is being called an escalation of a scale that we haven't seen since the 1962 war. And that too in the middle of a pandemic. Xi Jinping, the president of China, spoke today at the NPC, the National People's Congress. What did he tell the gathering of China's top politicians? He said that the PLA, the Chinese army, should step up its preparedness for armed combat, for military combat. This is what tops his mind in the middle of a pandemic. And this is what he's telling his army. Be prepared for combat. This is what he's thinking about. Our cover story tonight lifts the veil over China's border transgressions. What triggered this face-off and why this escalation suits China right now? First, let's bring you up to speed with what happened today. Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh of India held a meeting with the chiefs of India's Army, Navy and Air Force along with CDS Chief Bipin Rawat to review the situation in Ladakh. The Prime Minister's office also held a meeting to discuss the India-China standoff. China, meanwhile, is in no mood for a dialogue. In fact, Beijing is blaming India for what's happening. A report claims that some high-level military officials from both sides met to defuse the situation, but nothing concrete has come of it yet. There is no de-escalation. In fact, Beijing is blaming India, as I said. The Global Times is at it again. It is publishing aggressive and anti-India commentary. It claims that India has quote-unquote illegally constructed defence facilities across the border into Chinese territory. Needless to say, the Global Times is echoing Beijing's lines. It is the state mouthpiece after all. So what is all of this about? Let's break it down. Question number one, where is it happening? The line of actual control, the LAC, runs at 15,000 feet above sea level. This is the undefined border. In the past couple of weeks, two places have emerged as border hotspots. One in Sikkim, the other is close to Ladakh. Right now, the focus is on this area. It is called the Galwan Valley. Chinese troops are said to have moved in here, in the Galwan Valley. Now let's come to the second question. Why is this happening now? The answer could be this, border infrastructure. India is ramping up its border infrastructure. Last year, India's Border Roads Organization, or BRO, built a road it is called the Shayok DBO Road. DBO stands for Dolat Beg Oldi. This road is on Indian territory. At several points, it is at least 10 kilometers inside the LAC, Line of Actual Control, which is also technically Indian territory, but China doesn't agree. The road runs perpendicular to the Galwan River. In order to connect this road to the LAC, India is building feeder roads. And this is what has worked up China. Now let me repeat a fact. All of this construction is well within Indian territory. India is stepping up infrastructure on its own side of the border, on its own land. The idea is to help Indian forces reach remote locations quickly. It saves them time and effort, allows them to keep Chinese military aggression under check. And that is why China is protesting, because its border transgressions are being challenged by India. Look at the hypocrisy. China has been building its way to glory along the border for all these years, but it is protesting when India does the same on its own side. India needs these border checks because China's expansionism knows no bounds. Take the case of the Galwan Valley itself. This very place was a flashpoint for the 1962 war. According to a report, China has changed its claims over the valley thrice. It started with a small territory. Now Beijing says that the entire Galwan Valley belongs to China. Something that the Global Times editorial also repeats. China has reportedly positioned 5,000 PLA troops along the line of actual control. 5,000. Many of them are said to be in Indian territory. In the Galwan Valley, the PLA is said to have erected around 100 tents in the last two weeks. And there's more. An open source intelligence expert has captured some satellite images. This is the Nagari Gunsa Airport, 200 kilometers away from the Pangong Lake in Ladakh, the site of the skirmish between the Indian and Chinese forces earlier this month. 
And these are Chinese fighter jets, now positioned on what looks like a runway. India is stepping up its own presence at the border. Tomorrow, the Indian Army Chief M. M. Naravne will meet his top commanders. This is, a, this is part of the two-day Army Commanders Conference. The situation along the border is expected to come up. So this is where things stand right now. A large number of Chinese troops positioned at the border at multiple locations. With assertive and aggressive commentary from China, Beijing seems to be fine with this unprecedented level of tension at the border. It is making territorial claims. And that too at a time when the world is trying to control a virus that came from China. China caused the biggest pandemic in a century and it is now indulging in military adventurism. India has taken a stand without trying to exacerbate the situation, pushing back the Chinese at the border and backing a global investigation into this outbreak.